Hey guys, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel so you get all the updates. And again, thanks for watching. All right, guys, we are going up again. Got a fresh new battery in this. Really loving the SU30. Has plenty of power. No problems getting it off of this grass runway whatsoever. Um, running uh, dual 70 millimeters. Excellent flying airplane. AS3X makes it a fantastic flyer. Plenty of power, getting excellent times, running 3 minutes 30 seconds with like 30-40% left in the pack. Um, and uh, I can't say anything bad about it. I mean, it's really a nice plane. So, uh, like I said, we'll take it up and uh, we'll give it a spin. Here we go. Rocking the trusty hat. Take it on up. I'm really getting comfortable with this airplane too, and I mean, it's got no negative tendencies whatsoever. And it handles our field really, really well. I mean, I can't ask for a better flying airplane. It rotates right off, no problems whatsoever. So the dual 70 millimeters provide plenty of power. I haven't seen where it needs more power, to be honest with you guys. I'm completely satisfied with it. Um, so. And check out those lights. I mean, it's it's nice and it rotates like it should. Rotate right there and there she goes. You know, it flies really good. And I put a, uh, a larger battery on this one. And it flies just really smooth. Look at it. And you can really see the lights on this one too. And it sounds really nice. And I'm going to be quiet just so you guys can just listen to it. It's a very fluid flying airplane, very forgiving. It is surprising that it doesn't have flaps. Um, you know, I think it could use some flaps on landing, um, but it doesn't necessarily need it. You just need to learn how to fly it a little better um, and just learn the characteristics to get it to slow down. For me, I've learned that a long rollout is really key for this one, but it flies so nice. And like I said, just listen to it. Plenty of power, that's the vertical right there. It pulls the vertical really well. I mean, you're talking about like a 400 foot vertical. It does not seem underpowered by any means. It flies well, gets off my grass. Now, I could see where it could benefit from maybe like an end runner of some sort, like a 1900 KV 70 millimeter might give you a little bit more thrust you might get a little bit more speed out of it but i'm telling you straight out of the box this is bone stock i'm i'm really pleased with it it's a very fluid flying airplane and it's really dark we got an overcast now i think we're pushing around like 6 30 but it flies really good so i don't know how this video will come out but i mean <laughs> you saw that I did that for you guys back home. And I would estimate that this airplane's probably cruising around at, uh, I don't know, maybe about 60, 70 miles an hour. Top speed's probably around like 90, is what I'm guessing. But its cruise speed is around 60, you know? You could slow it down and, and, and fly it at half throttle with no problems. And that's what I'm doing. Just remembering your turns to keep the speed up and try to stay a little level and flat. But I'm completely happy with it, guys. Coming in for a landing. <laughs> nice. I ran it out until the battery went down, but you saw how it did, though. 
Wow, that was uh, interesting. I went over my my four minutes. I forgot to set my timer. But it did its job. The airplane reserved its power so you could land it. And it did good. You know, that was a kind of a little hard landing there, but it wasn't bad. So there we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We're out here uh, doing real world stuff. All right, pick the airplane back up. We got it back on the ground. Let's take a look, man. It ran out of power on me. I think I pushed it a little too much. These aren't new batteries, guys. These batteries in here are, are fairly uh, old, so uh, I, I think they may be giving out on me. I don't know. I don't know if I can trust them in the jets anymore. HRBs, 5000s have served me very well. Um, they've served, I think I've had this one for two years. So maybe I'm pushing it too hard on this thing, but that was a long flight. So uh, we'll plug it up and we'll see how many milliamps back in there. Okay, we got it uh, ready to go. So what we'll do is we're going to plug it on in there. See if we can't one hand this thing. Plugged it up. Let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we're at 3.2, guys. <laughs> flew the uh, flew the mess out of that battery there. It gave out, but uh, we got her down safe. And look, the landing gear are excellent on this airplane. They really take a beating, and they really work really good. So that, that nose gear, good job you flight on that one. But uh, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, this is real-world stuff. Thanks again for watching.